Well, hi guys, I am back again. How is everyone? I'm doing um, a little better. Um, I'm still having issues with my voice and the sore throat. Um, just when I think it's going away, it's right back again. So I don't know how long this is gonna last, but if everyone would just bear with me and my crackling voice, <laughs> Uh, I'd appreciate it. So um, it, it seems to be um, a regular thing now where my daughter and I go thrifting together on Wednesdays at the Salvation Army. So um, yesterday was uh, no, uh, yeah, exception. <laughs> oh no, we can't have crickets already. I'm only 57 seconds into the video. Oh my gosh. So anyways, <laughs> she uh, called me yesterday at work and originally um, I thought I was going to have to take her to pick her car up because she um, dropped it off for an oil change. But um, she already had gotten her car and we were just uh, going to head out to Salvation Army. So we did, and um, the color tags were yellow. Yellow tags were 99 cents. Green and blue were half off. I think I got it correct. <laughs> so um, I don't really know what I got, really. Uh, I left the receipt again in my purse. I think I spent $26 or thereabouts. So I'm just gonna, it's a it's a small haul, but um, I'll show you what I got. Uh, I got a very, very cool item here. And this is a vintage, um, it spins, poker set, fake light. And it actually, came in the original box. Uh, it was $3.99. Uh, was blue half off? I know pink wasn't. Oh my God, I cannot remember. I know yellow was 99 cents. It was green. I know it was not pink. It had to be blue. Pretty sure blue was half off. So I paid like $2 for this. And it's really, it looks to me like just about all the chips are there. Um, there was only one deck of cards in here. But I mean, for $2, I haven't priced it. So I really don't know what it would go for. Um, but it's worth a shot. I know there's a lot of people go for um, this type of uh, item, especially vintage. Uh, it needs some cleaning up, but hey, two bucks, can't go wrong. Back in the box. All right. Um, I picked this up. I can't believe when I saw this cup, I thought to myself, could it be? And then I'm like, nah. Look at this cup, you guys. It's Starbucks. I have never found a Starbucks cup like this. I see Joanne at a work in progress haul all different shapes, sizes, colors, and patterns of Starbucks cups. And I have never found one that was like this. And I think this is gorgeous. And it's like brand new. It was never used. It's in perfect condition. No cracks, no chips, no utensil marks, no coffee stains. Perfect condition. Um, this was regular price. It was $2.99. Yes. Okay. So it was... Pink and white tags were not on sale. Green, yellow, and um, blue 
were on sale. So I paid $2.99 for this cup. This is from 2005. I think I could probably get about $20 for this cup. So if I don't keep it, but I got enough cups, but I really like it. So I don't know, I'm torn. I'm just torn. Okay, throat's starting to get dry. Let me get a sip of my water. Okay. I found this for a friend and I thought it was really neat. It was only um, 99 cents and it is from Liverpool Road Pottery Limited. Stoke on Trent. That's what it says on the back. And this is the front. Very cool. I just thought it was so neat for a little, um, just for a little decor piece. And so my friend um, that I'm referring to would be Tammy Roberts. So I hope she will enjoy this. At some point, I will get these people's packages out to them. I'm just kind of, oh, it's Sophie. I'm just kind of, you know, saving up and just going to try to put everything in just one box and be done. So very soon, I'm going to start shipping everybody's stuff out. I don't know if this is going to bring any money or not. Um, but I only paid 49 cents for it, and it is um, an ashtray from Caesar's Palace, Atlantic City. I saw it. I thought it was neat. Um, you know, it's got to be washed, but it was only 49 cents. So I figured eh, I'll take a chance, you know. What the hey? I bought this for myself to put out, um, I don't decorate a lot for Valentine's Day, but I do put a few things here and there. And I found this plate and I thought it was just beautiful. Look at that. It's a pale pink rose with some very pale green in the background. It was only 99 cents, you guys. This is gonna look gorgeous with some of my Valentine's Day decor. I absolutely love it. Now, I don't know if I'm going to keep these or not. My intentions were to buy these for a friend, but I don't know if, you know, I don't want to like bombard her with too much. So if she's not interested, you know, if she doesn't want them, if she has enough strawberry decor, then I will probably list them because I myself, I don't have any room for them back here and I don't have any more room for them in my kitchen that I can see. But then again, you never know. So, um... I got these, I thought these were absolutely adorable. It's the pear. And these are made um, from, they're 1976. Original design by Saltera, I think it says. Saltera, and it's called Strawberry Garden. So there's the stamp on the back, if you guys can see that. I'm sure that my camera is not focusing. No, it is not. But I just thought they were so cute with the flowers and everything. I just love them. And these were $1.29 a piece. These were not on sale. So I got those. And then I saw these two little figurines. I paid regular price for these two. They were $2.19 each. And it says original something Japan. Uh, I'm telling you, these glasses suck. 
I did better with my cheater glasses. But anyways, this is the little girl or the, the young lady, whatever. Um, it doesn't seem that any of her flowers are broken. And this would be her partner. I just think that this pair is so cute. I could not resist. Look at that face. Absolutely adorable. So two nineteen dollars each. See, there's the sticker. Let me show you the sticker on this one. They're really dirty, though. I got to wash them, but there's the sticker there. I know it's not going to focus, but I'm sorry. So, yeah, I'll, I'll just pull my magnifying glass out so I could see what it says. But look, look at her face. Look at those eyes. Just adorable. This one has a little chip, like tiny back here. But really, um, they're in great shape, really. So I had to grab those. I think those were the first things that I saw were, were those. And I'm like, oh my God, because they have all their stuff. Um, it's all by color. So the first uh, set of uh, shelves is yellow. And I saw them right away. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to get them. I hope they're not all tore up, you know. So, yep, got those. Now, the next few items that I have is clothing. And, excuse me, I, I, I could feel it coming. <laughs> um, it's clothing. Boy, did I get a couple really great deals. Yellow tag was 99 cents. So I got this really, I love this color. I just love it. This is um, apostrophe and it says it's a small, um, but it's not, trust me. Let me shake it out there, there we go. I just love this shirt. It has, oh, the sleeves are st stuck in there from when I tried it on. It has these cinch waist kind of like, you know, with the, with the waistband, three quarter inch sleeves. I absolutely love this color brown. And the reason I got this was because I got these gorgeous pants. These are H&M. I only paid a dollar because it was yellow tag. And this is the color of the pants. They're just a plain, skinny, you know, skinny straight leg. And they both, they go so good together. I'm like, oh my gosh. I, I was like, how, how do you get a pair of pants and a shirt for $2? Not going to get that at, at any mall or, you know, Target or any place like that. And these, these are like brand new. I don't even think they were ever worn. I think they, if anything, maybe they were worn once and that's it. So I love these two shades of brown together. Then I got this really cute summer dress. This was a dollar. Look at the colors in this dress. It's like a nylon, okay, and then and it's it's the a kind of high waisted like under the um the boobs, and then it's got a ruffle on the bottom. I absolutely love this for spring and summer, and I will be taking this with me when I go on my vacation to California. One dollar. And my last item, I paid regular price for this dress. This dress, I put this dress on and I was like, oh my gosh, it just looked so nice on me. And it reminds me of a dress from like the 40s. 
So let me show you. I'm going to show you what it looks like, just like this. And then I'll insert a picture. Um, I tried it on and I, I snapped a, a picture in the, um, the dressing room. This is by Jones, New York. I paid $5.99 for it. Okay, so this is the top part. It has the V-neck and it's um, like chocolate brown and cream polka dots. I, I, you know, I can't tell if it's showing up on the camera. And then it comes down, it's like a uh, T-length and it flares out. So um, what I'll do is I'll insert a picture here so you can see what it looks like on. So $5.99, you can't beat it. Jones, New York. That is why I love thrifting. Love, love, love thrifting. Um, okay, so that was my haul from Salvation Army. Not a whole lot, but I thought what I got was awesome for 26 bucks. Um, I, I just, you know, I was telling my daughter in the car, on the way home, how much I wish we had Goodwill bin stores here where I live. Uh, we do not, we just have regular thrift stores. So I'm, I'm, when I was in California last year, I was very, very scared <laughs> when we walked in the bin store and um, I, we left. So this year, I am going to go again. I'm going to dig until my heart's desire. Uh, I can't wait. I'm just so bummed out that we don't have the bins here where I live. So I look forward to uh, doing that when I go on my vacation. So anyways. All right. So that was the haul. I am um, going to share the friend mail that I received. I have two boxes from uh, my buddy Larry, and I have a package from my friend Maria that I would like to share with all of you. Take another sip before I bust into the boxes. Okay. Um, today's Thursday, I'm off tomorrow, but I have to work the weekend, so. I'll be enjoying my day off tomorrow for sure. All right, so why don't we start with um, this package from Maria. And I was going to bring my scissors out here. And of course, I forgot them. So hopefully I can get through the tape. Okay, here we go. There's a little note in here from Maria. She said, hi Dee, I was out thrifting and saw this. I know how much you love ghosts. <laughs> Absolutely. Hope you can use it for your Halloween decor. Regards, your friend and subscriber, Maria. All right, Maria, let's see. What did you find for me? Let me see. I'm excited. Let's see here. Oh, God, I love it. Look, you guys, it's a table runner in black gingham with a rickrack sort of um, edging. Oh, my God, how cute is that? Oh, Maria, I love this. And you know, I was just saying um, this past Halloween, look how cute these little ghosts are made out of corduroy. Let me give you a close-up look. How cute are they? 
I was saying that um, I had a couple small uh, table covers for Halloween and they were really, they're really getting old. And th this is perfect, absolutely perfect. Oh, Maria, thank you, honey, I love it. Oh boy, I can't wait, how cute is that? I love the black and white gingham. And then on the other side, it's just solid black. Oh my gosh, awesome, awesome. I love it. All right, so there's one beautiful gift. Okay, let me put my little note here. All right, so Larry sent me two boxes. So, oh boy. All right, so let me see what the card says. Where are you going, Soph? She scared the living crap out of me this morning. She was, I have a two-tiered tray on my uh, kitchen table and it has all kinds of tchotchkes on it, of course. So she was on the table this morning and I pulled my, my keys out of my purse and there's like a lot of keys on there and they got like tangled. So I like shook them. She like jumped <laughs> off the table, knocked all the stuff off my tear tray. The stuff went flying, scared the crap out of me. I'm like, this cat is scared of her own shadow. Any little thing and she's like, I'm like, oh my God, relax, take a pill. She is ridiculous. I've never seen a cat like that. I, it's ridiculous. I don't know if, you know, cause she was a stray, you know, we, they were, these were rescue cats. I don't know if it had to do with when she was, you know, out in the wild or what, but oh my God. She needs like Valium or something. <laughs> I remember seeing a card like this. Okay, hang on. Dear D, enclosed are a few more items I hope you can use um, for addition to your treasures or give slash sell to others. Your buddy, Larry. I will be sending box number two as no room in this parcel for additional pieces. What matters most is how you see yourself with your glasses on or off. That's the card. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's the card and there's a little <laughs> oh my god you guys one of my friends sent me a picture of this purse she goes I saw this she goes this would be perfect for you when I saw this purse can I tell you that I laughed so hard, I'm gonna insert a picture of it at the end of this video and show you guys. It is hilarious. <laughs> Larry knows I love my kitties. They're so cute. My kitties and my chickens and my roosters. Those are adorable. <laughs> I think maybe I'll do a little frame with all of them in there. All right, so what do we got? Oh, it's 24 minutes already, holy crap. All right. Oh, look at this cute Halloween book. 
This will be awesome to put out in, at Halloween time. Let me see. <laughs> How cute is this? This is from 2015, but it's got some really cute pictures in there. I will definitely put this out for Halloween. All right. Oh my gosh, some more golden books. Look at these. Disney and kitties. <laughs> How cute. It's a set of four porcelain plates. These are from 2005. So there's four different patterns. Let me show you guys. They're all individually wrapped in tissue. So there's one like this. You know what? I'm not going to unwrap all of them, but what I'll do is I will show you... Um, there's a picture of the four different patterns on the back of the box, rather than unwrapping all of these plates. Let me show you on the back. Okay, so these are the four different patterns of plates. I think this one is my favorite. I like that one. Those are awesome. I love these. Love them. I love Halloween. We have a couple little figurines in here or something. Little things. Trying to take them out so that I don't um, get the peanuts. They're packing peanuts everywhere. Let me put this back in here. And I can set this aside. So I have... Oh, wait a minute. I feel like heavy. I feel like I forgot something. I did. I did. OMG. I have to be more careful when I'm doing this. sends me um, the coolest pictures, like from calendars and stuff, with kitties and this one. Oh, this is a beautiful Christmas card with cardinals. That's beautiful. <laughs> look at that little face. Oh my God, you guys, look at this one. Oh, how adorable are these? I'm going to hang these up all over in my eBay room. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Look at this guy. He looks like he's the boss. <laughs> That's right. I'm bad. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, look at this. Oh, how cute. This guy's cute. Look how cute he is. Oh, I just, I love animals. There goes, there goes the voice. There it goes. Thank you for those, Larry. I love them. And, oops, I got popcorn stuck on my arm. We have two Winnie the Pooh books. This one. And this one. Oh, how cute. So, anyways. All right. So, that was that box. Let's put this over here. Oh, no. I'll put it on top of there. All right. And we have box number two. We have another card. Larry's cards, I love them. They're, they're, oh 
my God. <gasps> Larry, this card is gorgeous. Hang on a second. Look at this card. That is beautiful. It's a collection of charcoal drawings by Virginia Miller. Jonah's Workshop is the company. Wow. That's gorgeous. <laughs> um, dear D, here's parcel number two. Hope you enjoyed the contents. Treasure your buddy ship across the land. Cute little guy or gal on this card. Uh, Binks is a beauty. This is this is like frameable. This is a beautiful look at those eyes absolutely gorgeous and the envelope is blue just like his eyes oh my god i absolutely love it and you know what this envelope is i could probably try to use it as a backer you know what i mean like behind the card i love it gorgeous what a beautiful card Okay, so um, he told me that he sent me some photos of his um, decor, um, which I will look at, you know, privately. So that's what that is. All right, so I'm just going to try and pull everything out. I have a feeling I'm going to have to pause the video, perhaps, and get my uh, scissors to open these. What do we have in a parcel, as Larry calls it, parcel number two? All right, let's start with this here. See what we have? measuring cups we have this one's one cup and this one is a third cup oh my god how stinking cute are those oh there's more there's more I know I can't, I can't hold them all up, but we can try. I don't want to drop anything. Okay, so we have those and this one. Oh my God, these are absolutely amazing. And they stack like this. And all the measurements are also on all of their tails. Larry, those are awesome. I absolutely love them. Oh my gosh. My throat's getting dry again, guys. Hang on. Cute to see. 
well, he's got a little hole here. So he could possibly be like a keychain type thing. And then he's got this little ball in his butt that moves, but it's it's not doing anything. I don't know, but I don't know, but he is too cute. It is a Christmas pig. <laughs> He's Santa pork. <laughs> it's a Santa pork. Oh, how pretty is this? Look at this. I love it. What does that say on the bottom? Fred Roberts Company, made in Japan. That'll go out with my springtime decor. That's very pretty. I love anything to do with flowers, spring, summer. I love flowers. I love gardening. Oh, it's like, it's like one of my stress relievers. Usually the bubble wrap that I can't save in like a, a, a piece, um, I keep to wrap my own uh, like decor in and stuff. I like to reuse, recycle. Oh, wow. Crystal figures. Look at this, you guys. Can you see? It's hard. Can you see what that is? That is absolutely amazing. Oh, my God. I love it. Let me show you it from this side. Oh, my gosh. This would look really cool sitting on a table and then having a, a little tea light candle behind it shining through. Oh, wow. I love this, Larry. Thank you so much. You find like the coolest stuff. That is just amazing. I love it. Wow. Okay, what do we have here? This is a little plastic thingamabob with masking tape on it. So guys, I'm thinking of changing careers. I'm burned out. I'm, I'm burned out. So I filled out an application for a receptionist job in a veterinary office. Oh my God, I would love doing that. Okay, so I'm not quite sure. Maybe there's, is there more to this? Okay, so there was this, which I'm not sure what it is. Does it go with this? No. It's just this round cylinder thing and then this very cool chicken stir was in there. How cool. Look at that. Look at the detail. He is very cool. I don't know. I'm not sure yet. Let me finish opening. Okay, hang on. Let's go with this. Cool. I'm not quite sure. It's like a little, oh, okay, it smells like violet. Look at this little decanter. And it says, um, Bath's, yeah, Bath's original something violets tor 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 
Corcoy, England. It smells so good. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. That's going to go in my bedroom. You know, Larry, I, I, I just love you. I mean, it costs a lot of money to ship things to California and from California. So, I mean, it's not cheap for Larry to send me these wonderful gifts. And I, I thank you from the bottom of my heart, Larry. I really do. I know that the cost of shipping is just ridiculous. And it's really ridiculous from California. <gasps> oh, how cute. Oh, this is Avon 1983. Look it. How cute is that? It's got a um, hole in the bottom. I'm not sure what was in here because there's no holes. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, there's all these little holes in the basket. So it was probably used as like a pom pomodor. Pomander? Pomodor. Pomander. Oh, that is adorable. How cute. Oh my gosh. All right, the last two items, you guys. Oh my God. Oh. Hang on, guys. More Halloween decor. These are ceramic pieces. I don't, can't tell the name. It says, oh, Casasa, Casasa, 1975. Look at these. <laughs> How adorable are those? Love them. Oh my gosh. Larry and Maria. I love you guys. I really, really do. I, I just, I can't say enough. I have the best friends ever. I'm just, uh, you know, I'm astounded every time I get a piece of friend mail. Honestly, I'm just, I'm very blessed and I'm very thankful and I'm very honored. Very honored. Really. So I guess on that note, I will uh, end this video. It's uh, 47 minutes long. Holy cow. Okay, guys, I will, um, I'm sure I'll have some videos coming up soon. I have no idea when, what, no idea. I just kind of fly by the seat of my pants. If I go to the store and I thrift and I feel like doing the video that same day, I do. If not, I just wait till the next day. Uh, it just depends on what I have going on. If I'm working, not working. You know, we all got lives that we're leading and, you know, sometimes things happen. Sometimes, you know, things go well. Sometimes it's chaos. Like Forrest Gump said, it's like a box of chocolate. You never know what you're going to get. So, on that note, please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I will catch you soon. Bye-bye.